Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumps back for another OPTC video, and in today's video, I have another team for Berate against Hawkeyes, Dracul, Mihawk. And in today's team, we're activating Absolute Whale Mode. This team needs so much investing. Um, it needs so many levels. Everything needs to be level 150. We have some limit break expansions going on. So if you guys don't do a lot of summons, then this team's probably not for you. However, it does not use Fuji or level limit break Zoro. So that's a lot of fun. So if you guys are a bit of a whale and you've been summoning on recent banners and you've picked up a lot of something like, like Halloween Lore dupes, Halloween Mihawk dupes, Wodger dupes, um, the new treasure map uh, Zoro, those types of characters... This team may actually work for you. But the team looks a little bit like this. We are using a level limit break 5, level 150, limit break expanded, Zoro friend captain. Huge shout out to Christy for that one. But as you guys can see here, everything is level 150 except for Rayleigh. Rayleigh's in level 110 because Rayleigh hasn't really been on too many banners. However, Law, Mihawk, even Wyvie and Roger lately, they've been on a lot of banners. So our leader is Mihawk. Um, if you limit break expand him, obviously you will do more damage as well. His attacks that will get even higher, but 3,000 attack at level 150 is pretty nice. He's captain, obviously being a five times captain if you hit a perfect, um, well, until you hit a non-perfect strike. And then he reduces paralysis, which is really, really fun. We just have stats on him with a Kainu. Then we have Halloween Law. Halloween Law gives us the, um, resistance or, um, the no, no, no chance of dying. My Law is limit break expanded. Uh, so as you can see, 3,100 attack is absolutely monstrous. He's at Orb Booster as well, plus he just has stats too. We're using Bullet on him because he hits the hardest, except for our boys, Wipeyn and Roger. Now, Wipeyn and Roger, they make this content a lot easier than it needs to be. And honestly, this particular Grand, Grand Voyage is not as nearly as challenging as the last one that we had. And if you have the right, like, pieces, it does, it is fairly easy. If you did check out my, um, the team before, or even the team before that, like... Those two teams did it very, very well. This team just has the damage, but Wipeyn and Roger are a big reason why it makes it so easy. Uh, Wipeyn and Roger, their switchability is absolutely phenomenal. However, for this, you're basically turning that orb boost into a three times orb boost for the first seven turns, and you're relying on that. Fortunately, they do cock them with their um, final tap, but you can also use the Odin support for color affinity. Everything is so tight on this particular team that, like, there was just not enough room for extra buffs, which is absolutely crazy. So Odin is our color affinity booster, which is just absurd um next we have zoro um with zoro on the team we satisfy the zoro condition but he actually removes the threshold uh and gives us a chain lock for three turns which is great he can also use the tashigi support to remove two turns of attack down and then finally rayleigh with whitey bay can remove nine turns of blind nine turns of despair and five turns of paralysis honestly you could probably rely on uh wipe it and roger or that sorry that 1.1 nah honestly you probably wouldn't be able to just because um the the orb boost was so low but this particular team doesn't use resilient sockets but i do believe that you could actually use resilient sockets for this particular team and you could use something like beppo sachi and penguin on your law unit on the second turn against mihawk he does a big death damage on death so you could use resilient sockets here and then use the beppo sachi penguin support to remove two turns of damage reduction because on the second turn for mihawk he puts up two turns of damage reduction this will just get removed thanks to this support. And on the final stage, you can use Mihawk Special and Law Special to get the two-turn burst. And then that way, you could be able to kill there. I haven't tested it myself, but I do imagine with Resilient Sockets, if you guys do want to try, this team could work very, very nicely. And because you have a two-turn burst, um, the investment probably doesn't need to be that high. So that's the team. Let's dive into the run. Let's check out how it performs. All right, so we're over here at Barriard Day, Hawkeye's me, Hawk. Now, as you can see, once again, huge shout out to Christy. We have a Limit Break Expanded Zoro Friend Captain. The reason that we need this Limit Break Expanded is because he's a 4.5 times attack boost to slashes, as well as being a 1.2 times increase if they have a dex or an int slot. That extra attack basically got us across the line. But like I said, if you guys use Resilient Sockets, you could definitely take the chance of, on the death hit, and you could actually take two turns on the final stage. Um... But if you do that, you would need Wipin and Roger to be level Final Tap 1 or Final Tap 2. Anything higher won't put you in the threshold for the attack down between a certain chain multiplier. But nevertheless, like I said, this is just a big old Whalen team. This is just pure power and absolutely going ham with um, what we have in terms of level limit break, right? Level 150 is no joke. There's a lot of stats here, a lot of damage output, and just being able to just raw power this was pretty cool so like i said that's the team those are the supports let's dive on in on turn uno 
we are have a bunch of lackeys and they give us seven turns of a 1.1 orb boost to our int characters it's only for int which is a bit of a shame if it was for slashes it would be better but this is where we're actually going to switch with our white bit and roger and they're going to give us some orbs but mainly they're going to turn that orb boost into a three times orb boost it works very very nicely here once we've done that we're pretty much good for an orb boost in the next six turns seven turns basically all the way up till the final stage which is pretty cool um the units in the front have significantly less hp so just be mindful of that if you get bad orb rolls use the characters that don't have orbs to kill the units in the front and then obviously use your stronger units to kill the units in the back on stage two you get normal attacks only and there's five lackeys every stage has a preemptive so that's what reduces the um orb buff if you could carry the orb buff all the way to the, to the end that would be super super cool um but there's not a lot of other characters that can kind of do what law does right except for something like maybe komarasaki but on this stage we are just going to rely on our orb roll and remember the guys in the front they have a lot less hp to actually take out on stage three we have six very very bulky mob units and they are going to give us a random orb roll and they make every orb unfavorable except for int dex and tandem so this is where we're actually going to utilize the zoro special zoro is going to give us an attack boost as well as three turns of a color affinity buff to not only take out this stage but actually take out the next stage as well which is very very handy on this stage now that we have the attack buff we're going to switch back into roger we're we're hunky dory here with a full board of orbs as well but having that three times orb buff and uh, we're just going to take out this stage this stage has so much hp though so you really do need a special to take this stage out uh and it's very very annoying that they actually do stuff like this on stage four this is where it starts to get spicy we come up against Jin, pearl and don krieg you get one turn of burn two turns of attack down a full board of recovery orbs which are still unfavorable five turns of paralysis two turns uh three turns of special one sorry on your captain friend captain and middle right so roger and zora which doesn't matter because we've already used their specials and then the enemy puts up three turns of threshold which is just very annoying now toshiki on zoro is going to remove the um attack down we can use zoro to remove the threshold we can get a chain lock here as well which is great for three turns and then we can use mihawk to get the carryover attack boost then we're going to use the super type to give us a full bottle orbs now if you guys are relying on resilient sockets and you have a level one white beard and roger you want to save the mihawk special for the final stage however if you are sort of going crazy resilient stats and you have a lot of extra stats you can use the law special here and then rely on your resilient sockets to carry you over that way you'll get a higher orb buff so there's like three different ways you can run this look i, I don't fuck with resilient sockets that's the bottom line so i'm just sort of mentioning this if you guys want to but like i said you can use beppo sachi penguin do a two-turn burst on the final stage with a roger whitebeard level one or two or you can activate both Mihawk and Law there to get the carryover effects if you want to rely on um, Resilience and then get a little bit more damage with Law's 2.5 times orb boost. However, if you have the stats like myself, you will need the resistance that Law can apply on the final stage. You get 9 turns of Despair on your friend captain, 9 turns of Blind on your top right, middle right, middle left. You get 5 turns of Paralysis, a full board of Dex Orbs, which you cannot change into anything else that's not Dex. And you get an attack down between two and four chain multipliers. So you have to sit between two and four. So it's anywhere between 2.25 to 3.75 is, is hunky-dory. And that's why if you are relying on two-turn burst, you need to make sure that your wipe and Roger doesn't have too many final tap tablets because it will actually exceed that chain multiplier. As you can see, we just have the damage there. Like it is close with some crits. We are going to take the death hit, but Laura is going to prevent that. And we are going to be hunky-dory. So there you guys go. Big old Whalen, big old stats big old level limit break but i hope you guys enjoyed the showcase anyway if you did make sure to go down there and build the like button for me if you need the channel or you have not done so already hit that big red subscribe button most importantly though if you guys are in this beautiful world please remember to enjoy the rest of your day as always homies i thank you for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one later